coolest things I found recently was this robot. It's from a company called Wowee, and uh, it comes with this remote that uh, you can make it do all kinds of stuff. Um, and I was really happy to find that it works and uh, just have all kinds of fun with this thing. So I was uh, driving through this town about 40 miles away and I came across this thrift store that I hadn't been at before. So I went in and I go in the toy section I find this uh, Vulcan EBF 25 Nerf machine gun. Uh, it's in pristine condition. It's got the tripod. It's got the ammo belt. So really happy about that. I paid $4.99 for it. I've got it listed on eBay for $70 right now including shipping and I think I'll be able to get that price. Uh, the next week I was driving through the same town I thought I gotta stop back into that store and I go to the uh, toy section again and I found this Nerf uh, Recon CS5 gun and uh, neat thing about this is it comes apart so it breaks down into all the different parts. Uh, this one actually has a little light up scope on it. Um, this one I guess isn't going to turn on. But the funny thing was I found all of these parts kind of strewn throughout the throughout the, the toy section and even in some of the other parts of the store. And I just kept finding these things and I made up, I actually was able to make up three full guns. Now I'm missing a few parts. I'm missing the uh, the ammo cartridge for a few of them but you know still it's a pretty good deal uh for the the smaller machine guns i paid i think like 3.99 for them i also got this uh gun here and it's uh really cool it kind of collapses down it's a deploy cs6 gun it's also got a light on it so um very cool and then I also found a couple of odds and ends, uh, this smaller uh, handgun. So, so when it comes to Nerf guns, I am all set. Um, I'm going to start listing all of these. I, I do have the machine gun listed, but the other guns will be going up on eBay shortly. I think for the whole set, I have less than $25. So I could probably make between $120 and $150. One of my recent finds off of Craigslist is this Viewmaster lot. Um, what's cool about this is it's got, I've got a whole bunch of the Viewmaster reels and they are uh, organized in these really cool Viewmaster storage um, boxes. The boxes are a little damaged, but you know, they're, they're still pretty unique. Um, and then the reels themselves, I, they're basically full uh, of reels and it's really cool that they've, they've been organized. These uh, This whole box is different locations and they're organized and all sorted out for me. So uh, really cool uh, the time and effort they put into to organizing this collection. Um, there are some, you know, I think expensive reels in here. Unfortunately, uh, I was really looking forward to the Disneyland reels, but Unfortunately, a lot of them got a lot of use, and they're not in great condition. There are a few that are, so you know I'll hopefully do okay on those. Uh, the lot also came with this projector, which um, it's a nice heavy-duty projector, and the great thing is it works. The uh, bulb on it is fine. I did have to clean it a little bit to get it to project uh, <laughs> clearly, but uh, very happy with it now. It works great. And then the projector comes in this box. Um, unfortunately, the box is a little bit worn, but you know it does a good job of, of storing and, and, and keeping the projector uh, safe. So, pretty happy with it. The whole lot I picked up was seventy-five dollars. Uh, it also came with these uh, all the instructions and different uh, things that go with some of the reels. So, you know that was good to have. So, seventy-five dollars for everything. I know I can get 45 for the projector and then the reels you know it's it's really gonna be uh, I'm gonna have to spend some time on this 
but I think I can do pretty well. I think I could probably double my money. Uh, it is going to take a lot of effort. But really, the reason I picked this up, two reasons really. One is, I'm a huge Viewmaster fan. When I was a kid growing up, man, I, I spent hours and hours looking at Viewmaster reels, so I really, really like them. And um, secondly, uh, you know, I wanted to learn about them. I wanted to really see, I see these on a re you know fairly regular basis, and I wanted to see kind of how they work, what's the value in them, what things should I be looking for. So really to me, this is a learning experience. So you can see that the projector works. Um, I'm looking at some uh, reels from Coney Island. One of the neat things about this projector is it has a little viewing hole here where you can see the writing on the reel so you can tell what you're looking at. So here's one of the reels from Disneyland. Uh, this is an Adventureland reel and it's in really good shape. A lot of the other Disneyland reels are not but um, this is a pretty good one. So another uh, Craigslist find is these uh, two Playmobil kind of western sets. This is uh, the first one is a Fort Union set. It's got uh, cavalry, uh, it's got Indians, horses, stagecoach, a fort, a whole bunch of good stuff. And then the second one is a uh, cavalry and Indian set. Both of these um, are really early Playmobil. They were distributed by Sears. And, you know, I've seen other sets just like this. There, first of all, there's not a lot of these out there. So the sets that I have seen, a lot of them have different store names on them. I think I saw one with Kroger and different things. So these must be uh, sets that Playmobil distributed through different stores. And um, that's why I think they're a little bit rare. I'm not sure that they were, you know, available for a long time. Um, I paid $75 for both of them. Uh, you know they're in the boxes the boxes are in not great condition there's some tape on here I might be able to get the masking tape off of this box but this packing tape on this other box uh, I've tried to play with it a little bit and I'm really afraid that it's gonna be worse if I take it off so I'll probably leave that there uh, inside the parts um, are look to be in good you know I don't have a parts list so I'm not sure if they're all there or not but um, they're all in great condition so I got a bunch of these horses I've got uh, cavalry units, I've got equipment, I've got uh, uh, the wagon. So a lot of great Playmobil parts in here. Now, I did, you know, they're spread out between the two. I, I didn't separate them or anything like that, but so I'll probably be, need to sell them as a unit. Um, and uh, that's probably the way I'll do it. It's a little bit tempting to maybe part these out because... You know, I think the individual parts might actually bring a little bit more. So I'll do a little more research and, and decide whether I want to do that. So I paid $75 for both sets. But based on my research, I'm thinking I can probably get $150 out of the lot. Um, but we'll see. Let's get down and boogie. That's that. So I bought this lot of jigsaw puzzles a few months ago and I just haven't had a chance to do anything with them. Um, these are all by a company called Jmar and um, they're not all dated but the two smaller puzzles are dated 1947. Uh, this one is a Cocker Spaniel and uh, this one is a Scotty Dog. And I figured for these you know there's a lot of people that collect for uh, their favorite breed of dog and I, I think that you know I'll, I'll probably do okay with these two puzzles. Uh, the other two, of course, are Dis or three are Disney puzzles, and uh, really, really neat. This one's a Donald Duck. It's a 300-piece puzzle. Uh, then I have a Mickey, Minnie, and Goofy, also 300 pieces. And then the last one is a, uh, a Three Little Pigs puzzle. So I need to put them together. The lady who sold them to me told me that uh, they are complete but I'll put them together, take pictures of them, and uh, put them out there. 
I'll probably put these on Etsy. I'm trying to build up my Etsy inventory, and I thought these would be perfect for Etsy. Um, it's the center of a swirling vortex. Oh, look out. Are there tornadoes around here? I see something. That looks interesting. Don't worry. <laughs> You've got the coolest. Watch out. I see something. That looks interesting. I see 